guys it's your girl Brittany and I'm back with another video this one has to deal with a mental health kind of type of video as you can see I literally started with a gloomy day unmade bed stuff on the bed and it's gonna be dirty dishes I'm really going to show you guys how you can cope with anxiety panic attacks and whatnot when you do not feel like getting out your bed because as you can see me in this video is in my bed so starting off i'm gonna show you guys how the anxiety attacks panic attacks usually go for me where i'll tend to have to de breathe deeply i'll start shaking obsessively i'll usually feel a lot of emotions i'll overthink a lot and this is literally in the bed like i just cannot get up and move so first things first so usually i like to sit in silence but silence is not always good so what i'll usually try to do is get some music going or playing games usually i'll find any game i'm into sudoku as you can see when i opened my ipad i was playing the ant game <laughs> don't judge me but um with music i go in to more of I would say more of a frequency meditation type of music usually because those are the ones that normally calm you down if you did not know um, the research behind music is that different frequencies make your blood your um, emotions and whatnot change so if you notice music is a big part of a lot of people and you notice certain music that they listen to okay certain music that they listen to plays a big part and role into their identity so playing peaceful music for me actually has helped me be able to cope with my anxiety and other parts like depression or whatnot which is why they always say play certain type of frequencies whenever you're feeling down then I will put on the TV. Yes, I have to get all this sound going on so I could get out of my head. Usually, I'll put on a movie that I already watched or a kid-like movie or a cartoon movie. A lot of people, if you have not noticed, after they got done watching horror movies, they'll put on a cartoon movie or show to make them feel good. And yes, my television is on three because the TV is loud then i'll probably start reading usually when you read you get lost into the book you i'll read books that get me going so i'm more of a person who likes to read self-development books this book that i was reading is one of the oldest books that i have which is i forgot which book that was hold on i could think <laughs> I had to think but the book is called the hero is by the secret and this book actually helps me get lost into things about me so the book is about like people growing finding out their calling and whatnot and it's a really good book and i'll get lost in it so as you can see i'm highlighting and all because i'm actually into the book using what i'm learning on top of that I'll turn around and like I said in my previous videos I will type up my thoughts how I feel my expressions and as you can see everything is going on because this is the only way that I'll be able to get out my head and get out my feelings as much as possible yes come with me when you are expressing yourself you want to get down and deep so from the way how you feel why do you feel like you're overthinking why are you feeling like this what's going on with you it's so many questions that you could ask yourself so you could just release a lot of these things not saying that you need to sit in these emotions or whatnot but it's more about releasing and trying to figure out what's the common source instead of sitting down being like okay let me get my mind off of everything no Let's figure out what the common source is so then we can actually move forward and not come back to the common source. Because that, that, I'm not going to lie, that's how we get depressed and that's how we end up being suicidal and all of that. And sometimes 
even with writing when you're expressing you could actually not only just express but you could actually write off affirmations or express yourself highly of yourself when you do feel these ways and you're done expressing how you feel about a certain situation thing or what you're overthinking about Last but not least, one of my favorite things that I love to do that everybody knows that I love to do, even though I'm doing it on my laptop, I also like to write. So, journaling, actually writing out how you feel, writing out your expressions, writing out positive affirmations is a big thing. But also writing what you're grateful for, what you love and appreciate. Because when you sit down and understand, like, sometimes your anxiety um, and panic attacks are because of things that you want probably now or what you have dealt with in the past that no longer is dealing with you, you usually need to focus on the present. And how do you focus on the present is being grateful for what you are, what you have right now which is one of the biggest things. Well, that is all, you guys. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time. Bye.